Good evening again. In San Francisco, five people are still missing after a crane collapsed onto busy streets. As it fell, the crane hit an office block and flattened several cars. Six people are known to have died and another 21 are injured. It's the city's second disaster in a month and engineers are trying to establish if the recent earthquake weakened the crane's supports. Auckland definitely won't be seeing an America's Cup regatta next year. A meeting of challengers in Perth tonight agreed to stage the next event in 1992, but the courts must still decide whether it'll be in San Diego or Auckland. Resign? Why should I? That's the reaction of Commonwealth Games Chief David Johnson as police investigate millions of dollars worth of deals and companies he's associated with. The business affairs of Games Chairman David Johnson have been linked with three Hamilton men facing criminal charges. Mr Johnson says he's provided documents to police, but says his actions were above board and he has no intention of resigning his Games job. Why should I? As far as I'm concerned, this is a quite straightforward commercial transaction which took place sometime in the past. There is no connection, so far as I'm concerned, with any current situation and me. Games organisers say implications of wrongdoing are scurrilous and Sports Minister Peter Tapsell says he sees no reason why the chairman should stand aside. The Games chief says he's seeking legal advice over some media reports which he considers damaging and untrue. Stephen Christensen, 3 National News. The Maltese have forced the two superpowers to break policy on visits by nuclear warships. The American and Russian missile cruisers that will be used for the weekend's Bush-Gorbachev summit are now in place, but they were only allowed to drop anchor after assurances there were no nuclear missiles on board. In Sydney, old ladies are now being escorted by volunteer soldiers after a series of killings in the city. Five women over 80 have been murdered in the past few weeks. The government is now offering $250,000 reward for the killer's oh, capture. Man, Good afternoon. Paul McCartney wants the Beatles to reform. He's making a film about the group and says it's an ideal opportunity for the three surviving Beatles to team up for a music score. And back from the USSR, Auckland paraplegic, Paul Glover. He's hoping a special spinal operation performed in Moscow will mean he'll eventually be able to walk again. And now to the forecast for the main centres till midnight tomorrow night. It's uh, good news. A fine day expected in Auckland with moderate southwesters and a high of 19. Fine weather also expected in Wellington with fresh nor'westers and a top of 18. In Christchurch, moderate westerlies and fine heading for a big high of 20. And for Dunedin, southwesters with a few showers and a top of 17. Well, that's it from me for this Wednesday evening. Have a good evening.